hey guys what's up so in this video i'm gonna show you guys how i transform into a totally different person using makeup here i'm using my favorite lip balm my smith's rose by self you can buy it at sephora for six dollars and i put this on first so when i put on my lipstick it glides smoothly so for primer i'm using my benefits the professional Pro Balm. I use this to smooth out my skin and there you go I sneeze and dab at the same time so anyways I use this before I put foundation so when I put it on it goes on smoothly and evenly because not everybody has a smooth face I have a very rocky face how sad literally and I also use this to minimize my pores because I have humongous pores. So here I'm using my color corrector. Now this is just to be extra. I don't use this every day. So I use like the green color for my pimples and the color I'm pointing at right now to brighten up my eyes and lessen the black circles under my eyes. Cause girl be looking like a zombie. Not everybody is born with perfect eye bags. So I only apply the color corrector on my black circles and I don't go down to a triangle form because I don't want the whole area to be brightened. Just my black circles. You know, I don't like to be extra, but girl, if you want to be extra, go ahead. Everybody likes a little extra, if you know what I mean. Then I get this lavender color, and you can also use this color to highlight. And you can also use it under your eyes, but I decided to use it as highlighter in the middle of my nose, in the middle of my forehead and my chin and I think I put it over my upper lips on my cupid's bow so this is used for a highlighter I already said that oh my goodness <laughs> okay oh bam there you go okay wait a minute wait a minute yes we are gonna blend that sheet yes we're gonna blend that and then we're gonna put foundation after now, in a moment, hold up, be patient. Now, oh, oh, so I guess I was wrong. Ladies, we are doing concealer first. So I'm concealing my under eyes again over the color corrector. And I guess for this time, I decided to go and do the triangle form. And there you just want to put a little bit and by the way I'm using Mac in the color NC 35 and I want to conceal my pimples as well there you go and uh-huh we are going to blend because that is a major key in doing makeup okay ladies and here we just dab 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 always remember it's key to dab ladies and I'm using a real technique sponge and I've never tried the $20 one that you can buy at Sephora because it's too expensive ladies and it's just a sponge it works the same way yes it does for me I think I don't know you guys tell me well, finally, it's time for foundation. Time to hide all of that ugliness, girl. And I'm using MAC Waterproof Foundation in the shade NC42. And what I like to do is just dot it all over my face. Then blend it in with a sponge. Or sometimes I would use a stiffening brush. But for this video, I'm going to be using my trusty old sponge. And that's right. Hold on. We are going to blend that. Don't you worry. And this foundation would literally last 24 hours. I kind of did use it for 20 hour, 
24 hours one day yes i do stutter a lot i'm so sorry but anyways yes this is a long lasting kind of foundation but it's also only like a medium to full coverage so yeah there you go now i'm gonna use my air spun loose powder to set my under eyes and i got too excited and baked my other areas of my face before i even did my bronzering my bronzing my bronzing and contouring oh my god but yeah so got too excited and did that don't do that but yeah this brush right here um it's actually a bs mall brush i bought it online i bought it with a set and um it doesn't have like a particular like use like is it uh under eye or contouring but i use it for under eyes obviously then here i'm using my maybelline new york fit me foundation in pressed powder and i use this to set the rest of my foundation and you can see here i'm struggling to not brush the mistakenly baked areas and you will see me brush that off in a minute i'm so stupid guys i got too excited and i got too lazy to redo everything because i had to go work after i did this so please bear with me i know i know i'm messed up now i'm using my Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer in medium and i use it to make my face look tan and i usually concentrate on the cheek area and i don't really put on my forehead because to be honest, I can't tell if I put anything or not. It doesn't show up on my forehead for some damn reason. Ladies, am I alone on this? Or am I the only one? Is my face just weird? I have no idea. Now I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me blush. I forgot what shade this was. But... In this video, I went ham on the blush because I thought it wasn't going to show. Because sometimes it doesn't show a lot of pigment, so I got to go ham. But there you go. You're going to see a lot of pigment in this video in a moment. One minute. Hold up. Hold up. And here you go, guys. My reaction to my blush outcome. So nothing but a pressed powder and the blendy brush to tone it down a bit now i'm using my hourglass ambient in diffused light and i'm gonna put this for my highlighter and use it as a base now i'm using my ColourPop super shop cheek in smoke and whistle and this is my first ever highlighter and I stick with it since the beginning so I use like an eyeshadow brush to apply it I don't have a fan brush yet so I just improvise so I put it above my cheeks in the middle of my nose I make like a dot at the point of my nose and I also put above my lips uh, oh, wait a minute, uh, I'm gonna blend it first, duh, obviously, there you go, blend it in so it looks like you're shining from within. Then with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows and I'm not going to show you guys my eyebrows because it's going to be way too long for my video. So here I'm using a light brown from my Milani eyeshadow palette and I'm just gonna put it in my crease area to give my eyelids some dimension so I've applied some false lashes and now I'm blending it in with my 
Real Natural Lashes. And then for mascara, I'm using my Maybelline New York Lash Sensational. And as you can see, the glue has not dried yet. Then I take a dark brown color and apply it to my lower lid with a pencil brush. Now it's time for the finale, my ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Goldie. Now this is really hard to outline your lips with, so if you guys could recommend a lip liner for the shade, that would be great. Thank you. Then to finish up this whole makeup transformation is to fix your hair. And there we go, we have a whole different person in front of you. Thank you for watching guys. Love you. Bye.